Hello and welcome to the 12th part of um, this uh, PDO um, video tutorial series um, using PHP. In this video tutorial we're going to be talking about the PDO statement method of bind column. Now we've talked about already bind value and bind parameter and I want to show you the difference between the two of them and bind column. Um, there is quite a big difference I in how, how you do this so uh, let's just show you a working example first of all. Um, we've still got the same data, the host, user um, name, password and database name. Um, we're initiating our connection to the database with inside of a try catch blocks and if we do have any errors then we're going to catch it with a PDO exception and then just output the message. But we're not going to get any um, errors um, at this point. Okay, so um, we need to start off with um, getting a PDO statement first of all. So we just say um, make our variable SMT and then we just call then the prepare uh, method and in this one we're going to say um, select user ID and name from users okay now if this is the first video you're watching out of the series then just to give you an insight um, we have at the moment a, a table called uh, users in our database called YouTube and this table has two columns very very simple a column with the um, name of user ID and the other one of name and then just some data inside of here so essentially we're just extracting the data um, okay so we are selecting user ID and name now next thing we want to do is say SMT and bind column now this works in the same way um, as bind um, parameter and bind value okay whereas it is kind of doing the opposite this time rather than us um, changing the SQL data here um, when we do we call the fetch um, method it's going to um, pass it's going to set this variable which we give it in a second so we say a uh, user ID and in here we could just type user ID is what it's going to match it against this is the column name that we're going to match it against and then the value is then going to be inserted into this variable okay so let's just do this then for uh, name as well so bind column and we say then name and then just define a variable name now at the moment these variables um, have, uh, are defined but they're not initialized okay so they don't have a, a value they're just being set in memory but they don't have a value okay so now all we've got to do is say SMT um, execute which is going to execute this one command so after this we just need to then loop around all of the rows now we don't need to assign any um, any information you'll see in a minute now with inside of fetch what we want to do is just add um, a constant and we're going to call it uh, fetch bound and we're going to loop through so every single time this calls it's going to then extract another um, row from the results and give it to us now as you can see we're not returning anything from um, this SMT fetch that's because when I put in this one um, predefined constant it's going to tell fetch to return um, true or false okay obviously it's going to return false when it doesn't have any more entries to fetch uh, otherwise it's going to continue to return true which means it will then continue on between then the command blocks okay so what we've done is we've defined these two variables and every single time we call fetch it's going to populate this variable with this value okay from that one row so let's just say echo uh, user ID equals and then user ID and name equals name let's just put a break at the end of it it's nothing more than that I think you'll understand this when you see it working so let's just execute this code and as you can see user ID 1 name David James Thorne 2 John Smith 6 Tony Andrews 7 Bob um, Evans as you can see here it's exactly the same so every single time um, fetch has been called the results which um, have been extracted have then been placed into this variable and then this one and then obviously we can then output the code and then it goes back round again and it says fetch and it extracts the data updates user ID updates name and we output it once again now if we were using bind value or bind parameter 
we would then have to extract this data by saying like uh, SMT um, uh, fetch and then in here either say then SMT fetch um, object or fetch associate uh, and so on now in here we do this and we'd have row and then we would have uh, row user ID and then row name and just to show you how this one works and we would have to change this um, essentially we don't really need to change this because it's selecting it already so we can remove that and then just continue on okay so we'll refresh it as you can see it stays exactly the same just to show you that I am actually refreshing it it stays exactly the same but we're typing more code than it's required we're um, typing this out and that's then getting returned every single time whereas using the um, bind column you're predefining the variables which you want to use okay so it's kind of six of one half dozen the other which one you use but there are um, there are pros and cons of using this way now um, you don't have to use the name here in relation to this you can just use one index positions once again by just then saying the first column and the second column and we can then go back to Firefox and refresh the page again it stays the same otherwise if we just don't want to do this we can then just say name in here so the first column is going to get then um, the value is then going to get put into user ID variable and then name is going to be put into the name variable and we come back to here again refresh still works exactly the same now um, if we then had say a third column we could then put two under here so you can mix and match um, the way you do it just as long as um, you make sure you keep you keep the ordering so it knows that it's the third variable for example if there was then um, date um, date of birth here then you come to the next one and then well just add it in shall we rather than talking through how it's done let's actually show you what would happen so let's just put um, I don't know town for example in here and just put 255 save this come here and we'll just edit this and we'll say um, somewhere if I can see what I'm writing somewhere okay now come back here and what do we say we said it was a uh, town now let's just copy this and paste it in here and then we know that this is the third column therefore we're going to populate this with uh, town and let's just put then the town variable after here for simplicity and then come back to our web page and run it again as you can see it works exactly the same and doesn't cause any errors so you just need to make certain that if you are going to mix and match then when you say three you meet that needs to be certain that's the third column um, that you have declared here as well okay now if we then remove all these and say select everything just to show you what happens all right refresh it and stays the same so as long as you already know what the order of the columns are okay and you know the names of the columns and you make sure that you declare these things um, all in the correct order as such or with the correct numbers at least then you know that town is the third column now just for the sake of arguments of putting this one first okay so it's all a little bit mixed up now come back here refresh it it's because buying column has gone well wait a minute I need to assign the value of the third column to this one variable which has been passed by reference to me okay and once again this one needs to uh, assign the value of the first column to this one variable which has been passed by reference this one is saying I need to assign the value to the column name that is equal to this and then assign that value to then this variable okay and then these variables down here naturally need to match here as well um, that's basically it um, I think it's extremely self-explanatory um, but regardless now I've shown you a, a fully functional working uh, way of how to do it now yeah that's it so um, 
I hope you liked the video. Um, comment, share, like, thumbs up, um, do whatever you want. Ultimately, I hope that you learn something. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye then.